Well, it was like five days after my, I won my first bracelet, I played the $5,000 shorthanded event, which was definitely a, a very different tournament. It was a higher level of play, there's more, way more pros, less people in the whole tournament, but it was definitely a tougher field. So, you know, I just, I got, you know, got kind of lucky in that one too, but, you know, you have to in any tournament. And, you know, I had a, I had a big chip lead most of the time in that one also, but, uh, yeah, I came into the final table short stacked and somehow I was able to, you know, double up a couple times and get heads up with Eric Lindgren and, you know, uh, won a coin flip against him and took the chip lead and after that, um, you know, after that it kind of went pretty fast. But, uh, you know, that one was definitely more sweet than the first one because it's, you know, it's kind of like validation. Um, when I came into the final table, obviously I was short stacked, so I'm not going to, I'm never going to expect to win anything, even coming in heads up with a big chip lead just because it's no limit and anything can happen. But. You know, uh, yeah, I was short stacked. I was kind of like, I just want a bracelet. I, you know, I just go for broke and, you know, play your game. And Eric started knocking people out, so I was like, wow, maybe I have a chance to win another one. And it worked out. Yeah, I mean, the first final table I made in Omaha, I played with Negranu, so it's like kind of right off the bat, I was already playing with pretty much the biggest pro. So after that, I was kind of like, okay, this is what I do. We're all poker players, and I wasn't really like, you know, awestruck to play with them. I, it was kind of an advantage because I've seen them play before on TV. So yeah, it was cool playing with Eric and you know all those guys, all the people I've been watching for the last few years and like learning from. I got to actually play with, and you know I got lucky and beat them that particular time. So it was, it was all good. When I got a heads up with Eric Lindgren, uh, I kind of felt like we had we have similar playing styles. So I kind of came in thinking like, what would I do here? Like we we're both kind of aggressive and uh, tricky players. So yeah, I mean one I kind of just felt each other out for a while. And on one hand I got pocket eights and. You know, he had a he had a two to one chip lead, so I kind of had to take a chance and double up. And he, we got all in pre flop with ace. He had ace king at pocket eights, and I uh, saw the ace first, and then the eight on the flop. So I won that hand. That was you know I got lucky. I won that coin flip, and then from there I kind of just honestly I probably won about ten out of ten out of thirteen hands, something like that. And um, yeah, and the tournament was over in like you know probably less than an hour, I think. In the poker world, like the bra bracelets are the most important thing I think to most players because it's the World Series of Poker. It's the oldest, you know, uh, tournament, yearly tournament. So, yeah, obviously those those are the only you know hardware I have so far. So it's like that's my whole poker career so far until you know until I win another tournament. So that's you know that's I don't want to flaunt them around, but those are those are obviously really important to me. You know, I I feel really good coming into this next. World Series of Poker. I mean, there's pressure because, you know, I did well last year, but at the same time, I'm just going to, like, come in like I did last year and just sort of go for broke and play my game. And, you know, honestly, I think I do have a legitimate shot to, you know, maybe not as good a World Series because that's going to be tough, but I think I can have another, you know, really good series.